Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a rarity, one of the rarest of the rarest here on my cask. It's a Port Allen, 17th release, 37 years old, vintage 1979, bottled 2017 and parts of the uh, rare selection. Wow, how it's called. Uh, rare and precious, uh, imperceptibly crafted whiskies from Diageo. They are called the special releases. Special re releases 2017. And now they have the 17th annual release of this particular bottle. And every year they managed to have casks from the same vintage um, but in the last years, there were only 2,500 to 3,000 bottles available from each vintage and that worldwide. And this bottle costs, yeah, be careful, close to 3,000 euros, dollars, pounds. And if you see this video in a year or two, then the price might have doubled. There are very, very few connoisseurs or collectors out on the market. Uh, which have all the 17 bottles in a row and there's a constant hunt for these bottles by the connoisseurs. So, um, there are good news. The distillery Port Ellen will be reopened in 2019, I think. So we will see the first uh, single malt whiskey from the stills on the market in 2020. Two. And uh, yeah, uh, with the, uh, not with the bottle, but with the uh, small samples of the special releases 2017 I got from the distributor, thank you very much for that, um, came this booklet. And in this booklet, there is a chapter of the Todd Allen 37. And uh, here they say uh, a limited edition natural cast strength single malt, now very rare and highly sought after at this age. Yes, Port Ellen, the closed distillery on the Isle of Isla, still closed, but not for long. 17th of a limited series of annual releases, the equal oldest Port Allen ever released and unsurprisingly the most expensive special release yet. Yeah. Annual allocation ensures availability of this irreplaceable malt for only a little longer. With a little luck, we are able to see the 20th release or the 21st release and then the first new one will be in the shelves. Probably. Don't know. From refill American oak hogsheads heads and butts filled in 1979. Just 2,988 individually numbered bottles worldwide. <clears throat> uh, earlier and far larger releases in this series now chart hands among collectors and now change hands among collectors for large sums. Yeah. Appearance, appearance deep 18 karat gold. Yeah, and stop here uh, with the tasting notes. I think you will find them on the map, uh, on the net, on the uh, whiskey database with a map of whiskey.com. Port Ellen was established as a malt mill on Isla's famous south coast in 1825. And from this malt mill, there's still the huge drum maltings well, uh, well working. And my son Ben went there and had a visit in this maltings. And I'm, well, I'm a little jealous about that because I've never had the chance uh, to visit such a working drum malting facility. It developed into a major distillery under John Ramsey from 1830, 1833 to 92. Blah, blah, blah. In 1967, the distillery was rebuilt, producing 
through the 1970s and closing in 1983, well through the big British recession, which started in 1979, the vintage where this whiskey comes from, and with the ongoing recession getting deeper and deeper, uh, they had to stop production and unfortunately they never opened again. Yeah, and here you see an old picture from the spirit wet and the, well, the casking of the whiskey. And here you see uh, the tax man and the woman from the, from the office writing down what was put in the casks. So here we go. We're not opening this very, very expensive bottle, but we have, as I said, this small sample which came with this booklet. And we're just adding a little drop because this has to, well, <coughs> to be here for long. Mm -hmm. Definitely smoky, but behind the smoke, there's immediately a citrus note citrus sorbet, tropical fruit, and then more and more smoke arises, some leather chair, some old tobacco tin, dark and full, and now the smoke takes over. Yeah, more and more smoke develops. It's 51%. Uh, well, this is natural cast strength. Quite complex and still light in the nose. Just a little bit of alcohol, of course, but not that strong, not that sharp. And the cask influence is still small in my nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, really sweet. A little oiliness. Very good mouthfeel, covering the whole of my mouth. And a little chocolate appearing. Officially said dark. Chocolate, but but no, the chocolate is not too dominant. So the casks had been friendly to the whiskey, not adding too much of bitterness to it. The aftertaste is long, more spiciness, and a little whiny in the back. Yeah. Now there is this smoked meat, the smoked ham. A little bit smoked herring, yeah, from the sea. And the smoke is getting stronger, stronger and stronger. But it's very complex. You can have the whole from the distillery character with the citrus notes over the complex old smokiness, just to the, well, the bee cask maturation from American white oak and European oak. So this is really complex, full, mature. And from time to time, I do not like Port Allen. So there had been some very difficult Port Allens on the market, but this one is a really complex, mature, old, mouth-friendly, Single malt, yes. This is how I like the smokiness in the whiskey when it's complex and harmonic to the rest of the whiskey. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come, more of the special releases of Diageo 2017. Thank you.